what have the last couple of days been like? You know, uh, the last couple of days, it kind of like finally set in that we're going to Omaha and uh, I couldn't be more excited. So you go from uh, Tucson to New Orleans to Lafayette to Starkville. Now it's like a layover here at home. Is, is, it, is it a lot of fun or is it uh, kind of crazy? Uh, I would say it's more fun than crazy. You know, we're uh, definitely more of a family family uh, than ever. And uh, when you're when you're with your boys, uh, you just want to spend every moment with each other. Right. What's uh, you know, how, when, when did it kind of sink in? Uh, was there a point after the game in Starkville when you knew you were going to the College World Series, and then you realized, hey, I'm going to the College World Series? Uh, I would say I realized when we got our own charter home. You know, everything's kind of, uh, it's different, you know. They treat you a little differently, and it kind of set in right when we were landing in Tucson, and we got all the we got all the fans here and celebrating us and congratulating us. I would say that's when it set in for me. So how do you characterize this team? Because there have been so many different facets of it, from the experience to the new guys to, you know, the improvement in, in all areas to the character. Is there anything that you can label this team as? I would say I would label us as relentless. You know, we're... We've shown that we've come back from two games down, and then we've shown we've come back from four runs down in the eighth, so I would say relentless. You're going to play in front of the biggest crowd that you've ever seen or played in front of, but at the same time, you're coming off playing in front of a couple of environments that were against you. Now you go into a, a crowd that just wants to see good baseball. Did, did the preparation of the games in Lafayette and Starkville, you think, help prepare the team for what they'll see in Omaha? Oh, most definitely, I would say, because uh, Lafayette and Starkville, they kind of had a home field advantage. And then when you go to Omaha, it's pretty much a neutral site. They just want to see good baseball. So I would say that, yeah, we were definitely more prepared than ever since we came from Starkville and Lafayette, yes. This team has collected 27 extra base hits uh, in postseason play. And it's not that you guys weren't hitting doubles and triples and home runs before that, but it just seems like that, that, that part of the game has risen. What has brought that about? Um, you know, I just think that we've just been sticking to our approach and we've just been putting the bat on the ball and those extra base, those extra base knocks, they just come in. Uh, we don't really try to do too much with it, it's just we're just doing what we're supposed to do and I just feel like the extra, dis, extra base hits, they just come. One thing that certainly stood out in Lafayette and Starkville was the fact that you guys, I, I hate using this word loose, but having fun, obviously enjoying yourselves at the same time playing good baseball. How do you put those things, those two together? Uh, you know, this game, you can't play tight, so playing loose is everything, and uh, I feel like our team does a really good job of that, and, you know, we've come, I would say, like, when we had, a, like, I would say about 8,000, 7,000 fans here, it really helped us to play loose and, you know, not really get too tight when those big, you know, 13, in front of 13,000 fans, so I would say playing loose is something that we're really well at.